spending the time this Saturday morning with me uh, to introduce you about Douglas College. My name is David Chen. I'm one of the marketing and student recruitment manager working at Douglas College International Office. So I'm going to begin the PowerPoint by giving you some information about Douglas College. If you do have uh, questions, please put it in the chat box. I'll be able to answer your questions uh, after my presentation. So where's Douglas College? We are located in the West Coast province of British Columbia, which is the closest metropolitan city to Asia. Uh, we are located actually in greater Vancouver area. Uh, Vancouver became internationally known for many years uh, since I believe it's 1986 when the city itself hosted the expo. Uh, since then, Vancouver has been ranked the most livable city in the world quite frequently. Uh, Vancouver is a very welcoming city. Uh, we have people from all over the world choose to study, live in Vancouver. Many residents uh, here living in the lower mainland of Vancouver I actually came, most of them came from overseas countries like myself. I settled down in Vancouver for 30 years and I treat Vancouver as my second home. And uh, here people are very welcome. Uh, it's a multi multicultural society. And the other things that you may want to know about Vancouver is we don't have very cold severe winter time. We have very mild winter time. In the summertime, we have beautiful, beautiful summer weather, uh, especially now. We outside, we are over 30 degrees hot. Okay. All right. So many students choose to come to Canada for various reasons. One of the key reasons is for the opportunities to work after they finish their study. So Vancouver became uh, known as one of the new technology hub city, uh, such as a large international, mostly American IT companies like uh, Amazon, Microsoft, they all choose to have their regional offices set up in Vancouver. So each year there are lots of new jobs, especially those high pay IT jobs are waiting for university or college graduates to apply for those jobs. Speaking about the new job creations, uh, the government of British Columbia, we anticipate for the period of 10 years from 2019 to 29, we are anticipating to create close to 900,000 jobs. So 900,000 number may not seem to be very big for most of the Asian uh, people. However, uh, you should remember that British Columbia itself, we only have less than 5 million population. So over the span of 10 years, if we are going to have 861,000 new jobs being created, then that's quite a significant high numbers. Many of those new job positions will be ending up with the new international students who are graduating from BC post-secondary institutions. Uh, there are many reasons for international students to choose to come to Canada or choose to live in Vancouver and study with Douglas College. I'm going to give you a few of those uh, obvious or most significant reasons for you to uh, consider. Uh, first of all, Douglas College is a public degree granting institution funded in 1970. So government institution means that we offer very high standard of education. Our reputation, our uh, reputation is very, very high. Secondly, uh, the size of Douglas College, uh, 
apart from the history of 51 years, uh, we currently run two campuses serving 20,000 student populations, including 3,500 international students from 80 plus countries, uh, including that 3,500 international students will increase, uh, include close to about 90 to 100 students, international students from Philippines. And that we are expecting for this September semester intake. Our programs are practical and applied. That means that the students in general will be finding it easier to uh, find jobs after they graduate from the college. And we have the largest selection of post-degree diploma programs in the whole Vancouver area. So remember Douglas College have the most number of post-degree diploma program choices that student wants to have. And we also offer programs in a lower tuition fee than those research universities compared to University of British Columbia or some of the universities. Uh, if you choose to study in Douglas College, one year you will save up to about 15 to 20,000 versus if you were studying in those high ranking, top ranking universities. Uh, we also have more frequent intake. If you miss one of the three intakes, all you have to do is postpone or wait for another four months for the next intake to come. So we have January, May, and September, three intakes. Students can apply to begin their study. And we offer very small class sizes. That way then the student will have more interaction with the teachers or the professors in the classes. Uh, our class size is one professor teaches a maximum size of 35 students. We also have a dedicated international uh, education support team to provide our international students with personalized services, including the career services, helping students to begin preparing for their uh, future employment in Canada during their studies. Our school location, our two campuses are all very close or steps away from the SkyTrain station. So it's very, very conveniently located. Uh, all students, international students are allowed legally to work up to 20 hours per week during their studies. And the, in BC, the minimum wage now has increased to $15.20 as of May of 2021. And all international students upon their graduation are able to receive or eligible to receive up to three years of postgraduate work permit. So those are the primary reasons international students choose to study at Douglas College. And here's the location of the map where you can see where Douglas College campuses are located. This is New Westminster campus. Majority of the international students study in our New Westminster campus because it's central to everywhere. And for example, if you travel from New Westminster campus to downtown Vancouver, uh, you can hop on to a SkyTrain station. SkyTrain, which is across the street, uh, only takes you about 40 minutes to get there. Vancouver International Airport is again, not very far from us, only takes about 25 minutes by taxi or if you drive. So our location is very convenient. And the type of program we offer, there are four different types of program we offer to our international students. The first three types of programs are mainly for high school graduates. Okay, the first one is our traditional college two-year diploma programs, which again is geared towards, uh, it's aiming for high school graduates, uh, for students who finish equivalent to grade 12 of basic education in their home country or in Canada. We have about 72 year college diploma programs to offer to our students. Second type of program is in BC, we have a very unique university transfer system, which allows the students to study in the college for one or two years 
and then transferred to universities. For those students, we offer them five different areas of university transfer programs in arts, science, business, computing, and engineering. So those students, upon, they, they can study in Douglas College for one or up to two years. Every single course they study will be able to use towards the receiving universities where they are going to continue to finish their degree. So in theory, then the student can study in Douglas College for two years and finish their degree in a research university. When they graduate then, the bachelor's degree or credential they receive is no different from students who spent the four years in the universities. So students are able to transfer within the province or outside the province of British Columbia. And for those students who wish to transfer to university, if their grade point average of their grades were not up to what the universities are looking for, then they can choose to stay in the college to finish our applied degree programs. We have 12 of our own four-year bachelor's degree programs if the student will choose to study. So again, university transfer, college diploma, applied degree programs are all aiming for high school graduates. If students who finished their bachelor's degree in their home country or years ago, if you wish to come to Canada to further your study by choosing to come to a college like Douglas College, we do have post-degree diploma programs that we can offer. Again, we have the most number of post-degree diploma programs that we can offer to our international students. So we have 16 one-year post-degree diploma programs that the students can choose. Uh, so one-year post-degree diploma programs, as you can see from the list, most of those programs are in the commerce and business faculty area. And for students who wish to do a two-year post-degree diploma program, we do have nine two-year post-baccalaureate diploma programs. So students can choose either to do one-year post-degree diploma program or two-year post-baccalaureate diploma programs. And if the student wants to do one-year post-degree diploma program, however, but they want to have three years of postgraduate work permit, what they can do is to customize two one-year post-degree diploma programs to combine them into a two-year program. So this way then the student will graduate with two credentials and we will issue the letter of acceptance uh, which recommend the Canadian government to give you two-year study permit. Uh, and also upon your completion of two one-year program, you will be able to uh, apply for three-year postgraduate work permit, okay? Uh, one thing you may want to find, our, most of our post-degree diploma programs are all aligned with the industry demand. In other words, students, upon completing our program, they will be able to move on with the next uh, step into the further developing their professional uh, career. So if the student finishing our accounting diploma program, then they can be begin right away uh, the CPA education program. In other words, they will be fully qualified to begin the next step uh, CPA program preparation. Same thing with the project management, the student will be able to move on with the PMP certificate exam. Finance program, then the student will be able to begin writing the CFP, et cetera. And Douglas College, we do offer regular co-op education program for our students. And the co-op student uh, education program is only eligible for students who are enrolled in the two-year program or longer. And students must complete six courses or 18 credits and maintain a certain high GPA. So I would like to show you a video about uh, what our co-op education is about. I 
last job was working as a junior accountant at Kraft Foods. Just say the job came with a few benefits. But why should you join Coke? First, you can meet your future employer. If you leave a good impression with your coworkers and boss, there's a good chance at the end of your degree they'll be happy to take you back. Secondly, you can earn money. The average coke position pays thirteen to twenty dollars an hour, or sometimes even more. Goodbye, instant noodles. Finally, and most importantly, you'll gain experience. If five people with the same degree apply for a job, but only one of them has work experience, who would you hire? Overall, I can say my co-op terms have been the most gratifying part of my degree. Employers really value experience in searching for employees. And in my opinion, co-op is the best way to get that. So what are you waiting for? Join the co-op program today. So the key word in this video is the working experience, especially for those students who finished high school never had any working experience before then, Bob Edge, which will really get them a head start. And tuition fee, how much it would cost a international student to study live uh, per year. So the tuition fee per year based on 10 courses and 30 credits is around 18,360. Housing and supplies is around 12,300 transportation, health coverage, books, uh, et cetera, will cost you around 4,000. So one year it will cost a international students around 35,000 to live in Vancouver and study at Douglas College. Scholarships, uh, we do offer entrance scholarship and awards to our international students. Each year we give out around 100,000 uh, Canadian dollars to new students. There are two different categories of our entrance scholarship and awards. So first one is called regional awards. Uh, it's $1,000 student, they do not need to apply. Our admission coordinator upon receiving the uh, student's application and supporting documents, if students are truly qualified, we will uh, send the information about the regional awards and the amount in the first letter or email you're going to receive from Douglas College. And the second scholarship is called Mary based scholarships, uh, which is around 3000 2500 and that one student will have to apply and all the application documents and requirements and procedures are on our website, information are uh, posted on our website. Uh, the next few slides, I'm gonna to talk to you about the general admission requirements uh, for Douglas College. In order to meet our admission requirements, students must uh, provide us with their language proficiency test results. Uh, unfortunately, right now, we do not uh, waive the English proficiency language results for students from Philippines. Uh, so that way then you will have to submit either TOEFL score 83, IELTS 6.5, or for the time being, Duolingo minimum score 110 in order to meet the admission requirements for English. If students do not have the English test result that will meet the admission requirements, we do offer our own English as the second language program that you can apply. So for example, if your IELTS score is only 4.5, it will take you up to 12 months or three semesters to upgrade all your English and then uh, transition into the college level uh, program study. Other than the English requirement that we do require students to have high school graduation with a 60% of their uh, final two years of grades. And for students who apply for our post degree diploma program, we need to uh, receive your university degree credential proof and also showing your transcript 
uh, with the average of 86% or higher grades during your university studies. Okay, so our admission requirements is very straightforward and it's very, very low compared to other research universities, what we are looking for. And our application deadline date is usually uh, three months before the new semester begins. So January 31st is our summer semester uh, application deadline date. May 31st is our September semester deadline date. We highly recommend students applying before the published deadline date as many programs become full before the uh, posted deadline dates due to the very high demand of our international students uh, application. Application process. So the our education uh, partners in Philippines will work closely with the students to help the student to determine or identify the program you wish to apply. And again, our education partners in Philippines will help the students to apply through our online portal. Once your application uh, is received by the college, we will send you the admission offer requesting students to pay the tuition fee deposit. If you wish to apply your study permit under the regular stream, we only require the student to pay for one semester of tuition fee deposit, plus the uh, student services fees, medical insurance for the first semester, et cetera. So the amount will be approximately around $7,800 for first four months, and which is also the tuition fee deposit. If you wish to apply for your study permit under the SDS program, you are required to pay the first semester tuition fee, which is 18,000, uh, so that we can put this amount on the letter of acceptance for the Canadian government. Once you make your tuition fee payment, we will issue you the letter of acceptance, which is the key document for you to prepare for your study permit application. And from then onwards then, our international student services team will begin contacting our new students, providing all the pre-departure student services. And these are the uh, few websites that I would recommend uh, you to uh, explore. First of all is our Douglas College homepage. And also we have recently put on this amazing virtual campus tour that you will be able to uh, virtually go through the campuses uh, from different offices, different faculty, different classrooms to get to know more about Douglas College. And also, uh, if you would like to read more about publications, then we have our brochures also posted on our website for you to uh, download and then read at your own leisure time. We also have lots of uh, videos uh, being posted on the website as well. And the last link is our program availability link, which is very useful. Uh, so this is the link for you to check whether the program you are interested in is offered to international students or it's not. And also very importantly, whether this program is still available for you to apply when you wish to apply. So these are the helpful websites uh, if you would like to uh, take a look. And this is a video about Douglas College. I think uh, we have played this at the beginning of the uh, session. So I'm gonna skip this. And now I'm open for questions and uh, if you have any, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you, David, for your presentation. So right now, um, we move forward to our Q and A session. So to our attendees and to our Facebook Live viewers, please enter your questions, and uh, we will have it addressed. Okay, our first question from Facebook. Uh, 
what is the program delivery for September 2021? Uh, the, the, the program delivery mode uh, in 2021, September, is gonna be uh, in-person. About 70% of the courses are gonna be done in the classroom setting and 30% of the classes are continue to be online virtual because we still have a good number of international students who are not able to travel to Canada yet because of the travel ban. But we are expecting all classes to be back to normal in-person classes in January of 2022. Okay, thanks for that, David. Um, so far, I don't have any questions in our uh, Facebook as well as in our Q&A, but please, for our attendees, please enter your questions so that uh, David can also address your concern while the webinar is still ongoing, of course. Okay, um, we have a question from Facebook. Um, how about for the deferral policy of Douglas College? Uh, I'm sorry, can, can you repeat the question again? Yeah, uh, for the deferral policy of Douglas College in the event that the student uh, will not be able to attend her applied intake for some reasons. Yeah, well, for study permit, delay reason uh, students can request the deferral five business days before the semester begins no questions asked but for other reasons say for example if you have family situation which prevents you to attending the classes and would like to request for a deferral then it will depend on the information we provide and also the proof uh, that you may be required to send to Douglas College uh, as a supplement document. So it's subject to our college's approval. But if you wish to change your mind and walk away from Douglas College and you can get up to 50% of a refund, as long as you submit this request to us five business days before the semester begins. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, I guess I don't have any, uh, we don't have any questions in our uh, Facebook, um, as well as in our um, Q&A box here in Zoom. And of course, we don't want to take your time much for that. I think it's already evening in um, Vancouver in BC. So do you have any final remarks, I guess, for our attendees and to all of our viewers? Oh, okay. Well, I would like to uh, thank you for spending the time watching this or listening to this and on the Saturday morning. And the Douglas College is welcoming uh, students from all over the world, including students from Philippines. And we'll be more than happy to answer your questions if you may have, or uh, work on your applications and uh, provide education opportunities for any prospective students uh, among this audience or your friends. So I want to extend our warm, well, welcome to everyone and uh, wish you all have a very good day and stay safe. Okay, thanks for that, David. And also to our attendees and to our Facebook Live viewers, um, you can also visit our website, that's www.gateway2canada.com. And you can also feel free to take our online assessment or book an online appointment to our case managers if after this webinar, you still have any questions or concerns. And for that, thank you and have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.